Hello, welcome to this month's Viola's Flight Report, where we review what Vertical Aviation International is doing for you. I'm James Viola, the President and CEO of VAI, Vertical Aviation International. This week, I'm in Hawaii, where I met with VAI members who operate in the Aloha State and discuss their most pressing issues. I also met with the VAI Executive Committee, including our current board chair, Nicole Batches. Nicole owns and operates Rainbow Helicopters, an air tour company based in Honolulu International Airport on the island of Oahu. Access to U.S. national parks for air tour operators like Rainbow are threatened by air tour management plans or ATMPs that could put them and you out of business. The government has developed ATMPs for 23 parks across the United States and more are planned. To give you some history, back in 2000, Congress enacted the National Parks Air Tour Management Act. This act requires the National Park Service and the FAA to consult with stakeholders, including general aviation and air tour operators. They were to work together to draft rules for commercial air tours over national park lands Congress made it clear that it was the collaboration was necessary so the ATMPs would make sense for the parks and would maintain safety in air tour operations. Unfortunately, the National Park Service drafted ATMPs without critical input from stakeholders on operational safety, access issues, and economic impacts. Without this collaboration, the Park Service has enacted plans that severely curtail the economic viability of air tour operators by limiting flight allocations or sometimes eliminating them altogether. And on top of that, many ATMPs discriminate against those who are unable to enjoy the natural wonders on foot. Where flights are eliminated, individuals with disabilities, many seniors, and the very young are prevented from taking in the grandeur of the volcanoes in Hawaii or breathtaking views of Mount Rushmore and the surrounding mountains. Vertical Aviation International is fighting to keep this airspace open. At VAI's urging, the U.S. House of Natural Resources Oversight and Investigation Subcommittee held a crucial hearing about the new rules. Two VAI members, Mark Shafley, president of Rushmore Helicopters, Black Hills Aerial Adventures, and Badger Helicopters, and Vice Chair of the VAI Board, and Jake Tomlin, President of Papillon Grand Canyon Helicopters and Grand Canyon Scenic Airlines, stepped up to represent you and the industry at the hearing. They told Congress that the National Park Service and the FAA failed to consider operational safety and access issues for the public and for air tour operators. At the December 5th meeting, Mark stressed that the air tours have minimal impact on the national parks and they require no ground-based infrastructure such as roads, trails, signs, or facilities. Jake pointed out that the safety concerns arising from the failure to involve crucial stakeholders such as air tour operators in the planning process. He cited issues such as tour routes that conflict with nearby airports and military installations, plans that stack fixed wing and rotary wing aircraft at the same elevation in almost identical routes at high density altitudes, a lack of consideration for weather conditions and inadequate coordination of radio communication over these parks. Both operators stressed that the National Park Service failed to consider devastating consequences of the ATMPs on their businesses and the ability to retain employees. Mark told Congress that the ATMPs for Mount Rushmore National Memorial and Badlands National Park effectively ended more than 9,000 previously approved flights. Jake added that the National Park Service did not consider the potential economic impact of the plans that severely limit overflights. The economic hit to the air tour companies experiencing limited or no access to the airspace in our national parks may put them completely out of business. If that happens, their communities will suffer a loss of jobs and revenue. This issue impacts more than just those operators. Our industry will face downstream revenue losses and the shrinking 
of the significant workforce pipeline at a time when we are struggling with the shortage of pilots and aviation mechanics. This fight over at and impacts our entire industry. To take our advocacy to the next level, VAI filed a lawsuit over access to airspace over national parks on behalf of air tour operators in Hawaii, and we stand behind the lawsuits filed by air tour operators in South Dakota. VAI strongly feels that our industry needs to stand against a bureaucratic overreach and to fight for access to airspace and safety. To learn more and to join the fight, I strongly encourage you to visit verticalavi.org slash ATMP. Your support and your voice will make a difference. Well, that wraps up this month's edition of VFR. Please email me with your comments or your suggestions on how Vertical Aviation International can provide you with better service. Until next time, fly safe, be safe, and power up. Oh.